everyone, my name is Kathy Campbell and I am the Photogs Helper and today I'm here to send you just a little bit of love. Every so often you're going to have a day where you're like, screw this, I'm quitting photography, I'm quitting what I do and I am going to go work at Walmart because then at least I can leave the job at home, I can get a steady paycheck and maybe 20 bucks after paying all your bills but I know it's gonna be there I don't have to sell anything above and beyond being myself and all right I'm just gonna do that I'm here to tell you that that is not what you need to do you just need to take a breather take a breath go take the day off I mean let's be honest we can take breaks <gasps> I could take a nap if I want but what that tells you is that it's okay to take care of yourself. It's okay to take a break. It's necessary, in fact. I love the fact that I am able to take time for me and my business is not gonna die. If I take half an hour to go take a recharge nap, I come back, I'm able to work far more efficiently, I'm able to do what I need to do and get it done, and then I can go play again. I start every morning at 6 a.m., I'm done by about 5 o'clock, and I don't think about work unless I get a message from a very select few clients. I am family me. I am cooking dinner, I'm playing with my daughter, we just got a Wii and we have been having so much fun playing Mickey. It's been wonderful and I love that I don't feel guilty about that. I don't feel like, oh my goodness, my business is going to crash and burn because I'm not there to answer the email that arrived at 7 o'clock at night. It's okay to let people wait until business hours. In fact, if you need to, set business hours and have your email auto reply, say that. So that when your clients email you to your blank at blankphotography.com email, check this video right here to learn how to do that yourself. If you have that auto reminder, come back to people that says, hey, I'm so excited to get your email. Just so you know, my business hours are from X to Y. If you're emailing me after that, go ahead and hold tight. I will contact you back when I'm in the office in the morning. Something like that. But turn off the autoresponder when you are working, okay? It's super easy. You can use it in vacation mode. In most email options, it's, it's life changing and it will work best because you're not going to bug the customers that you have just been communicating with and they get that autoresponder back and they're like what's going on you don't want that so have it have the autoresponder in vacation mode turn it on when you're done working and leave it do not check your emails do not check your text messages in fact Really, you don't need your text messages to be with your clients. Unless you are friends beforehand, it's very rare that you should exchange your phone numbers until you're planning the actual session. Then, definitely, you need the phone number to call and say, hey, where are you? Or, oh my gosh, I got in a car accident, I'm going to be 10 minutes late. Whatever you need to do, then it's totally fine to have your mobile number. Otherwise, do not have client interaction on text message where you're talking about the contract, you're talking about money, unless it's, hey, I'm coming over to give you your check. Otherwise, I have talked to so many people that a session has gone wrong because they only texted. That won't hold up in court, most likely. Talk to Rachel Branke just to make sure, but I'm fairly certain the text message won't yeah, it's just too iffy. Sign contracts and communications through email. That way it's a solid record. You know everyone agrees. Or better yet, do it in person. Have an in-person consultation. Have them sign the contract right there. You're able to talk to them about their products, whatever they want. You don't have to necessarily do in-person sales if you have already communicated with them and you already know what they're gonna want perfect then you can do a gallery because you've already pre-sold them on the album the image box the big 
wall portraits. You know what they're going to want. And there you have already got the money for the products. I know this is kind of a rambly video and there's a lot of random information, but most importantly, I want you to know that I'm here for you. I love you. You're amazing. Stay with what you love. If you don't love it anymore, that's totally fine. Go find something that you do love. But most importantly, love what you do. Love who you're with. Love your days. You deserve it. So go and take a nap. I give you permission. Bye everyone. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and please tell me about it on my Facebook page. I love when people find the good in their life and their day and I can't wait to hear about yours. Bye everyone!